Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be filling out this survey, because it's the User Survey 5 kind came out, and it gives you four summon tickets for doing it. So I'm going to be doing it, and that's going to be it, and that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like. Comment down below, tell me what you put down on the survey. What are you looking to see improved? I know there's plenty of things that can always use improvement, and since they're actually pretty good, at least on the JP side, I don't expect to see any... Had a improvements first before they happen on JP. JP always seems to get them first, but regardless, it's good to always leave feedback. Uh, feel free to tell me what you left back, or if you just did nothing and you were just using it to get four summon tickets. And if you did, tell me what you use those four summon tickets on, or what you're planning to do with them. Whatever, man. I'm, I'm willing to hear it. I just got off of work uh, for a very long week of work, and I'm willing to get back into some go, into some for go things. So yeah, let's begin. So if you don't know, if you go to the news for the Fago site, and then you go all the way down here to the user survey, you'll be able to do it. And basically, once you click on it, you'll be taken to here. You need to enter your user ID, all this stuff, um, before you can continue with all of that. I'm going to be skipping this. I'm going to do it at the end. Uh, and I'm going to just start with the, the harder questions. All right, how much money do you spend per month on hobbies and entertainment? Of that amount, how much is spent on smartphone games? Uh, do I want to answer this? It's actually a decent amount. I think it's somewhere around here, because I'm also counting as actual games. Uh, it's probably around this much. Yeah, 101 to 300 bucks to that much. Well, thankfully, I just got a new job, so it used to be much lower than this for a month, but since I've gotten a new job and make more money, I get a little bit more up. Now, in terms of how much of that I spend in smartphone games, I think it's around... Uh, it really kind of depends on the month itself. Because on some days, I will just spend nothing on smartphone games for the entire month. Actually, that's not true, because at least at the base minimum, I'm pen and spending $10 because of Marvel Snap to get the new card. But if there's something really good look coming up for an upcoming Fago banner, it probably comes up to around... Uh, just barely here, I think. So I'll do a happy medium and I'll go here. That sounds about right. A lot of this seems funky. I know for a fact it's not this. I'm pretty sure it's not this. It might be this. Is it this? Oh no, I do make a lot more money. I haven't actually keep. I should be keeping track of it. But for right now, let's say right here. On average, how long? And it, again, it also really depends on how money's looking. Like, uh, if obviously if I have a crazy. I always plan out my money stuff to make sure that I have every single bill that I need to be paid, paid first. And then anything that I need to have money for in the future, I save that apart. And then finally, with whatever's left over, I have whatever fun I can have. And that's it. And that's how I expect most people should be doing it. Always focus on the important things first, is what I say. So anyway, on average, how long do you use your smartphone and tablet on weekdays and days off? Oh, it's a long, it's a long time. I think it's four to five hours on the week on the weekdays. Yeah, it kind of again. This also kind of depends on whether or not I'm playing a game. <laughs> if I'm playing a, I have a game to play. It's usually around this mark, but I think four to five sounds about right. What do you look for in a smartphone game? Games app for iPod to relieve stress. Anything to feel enjoy. I guess to feel enjoyment to relax. To have friends, to ha yeah, I guess this one's true. To beat the competition, I'm not really doing that. To be immersed in the story, well, for go, for for go, yes. To interact with other players in the game, not really. To feel stimulation, to enjoy the strategic element of battle. In general, I'm always looking to feel the strategic element of battle. To have stimulated experience, to be moved, to express myself, to feel superior, <laughs> to feel surprised. This experience the charm. Yeah, for Fago, yes. To become an inhabitant of that world and to enjoy what is trending. Yeah. How do you usually obtain information on a smartphone games? Social media, usually Twitter is a pretty good one. Uh, videos occasionally on YouTube, for sure. Uh, and word of mouth is usually the three. What influences you to download smartphone games? seeing recommended apps. Is there an option here that just says I was bored? And that's usually what drives me. Seeing recommended apps on games on the internet, learning about them on Twitter, learning about gameplay for videos, or that usually is a pretty good factor. Top of the app store, Google Play rankings, being featured, advertisements, seeing friends, colleagues. Yeah, this one can be. Being invited to play, this one can be. This one can also be. 
seeing sometimes a pre campaign will actually get me knowing that a celebrity plays no not really wanting to try out what is trending an event collaboration with content this will happen occasionally when did you begin playing oh shit i guess from release technically speaking i started playing for go during um when in jp times not at the beginning but pretty close to it why did you begin playing Fate Grand Order? Was already a fan of the Fate series. That's not true. Saw it on an official website, including pre-registration. Saw it on an app rankings. Saw it talked about social media. Saw it in a magazine article. Participated in a real-time event for it. Saw it featured. Other. Played. Japanese. Version. And wanted to actually see the story translated. That's actually the legitimate reason as to why I started. How often do you play Fake Grand Order? Uh, one day per week? Almost every day. Yeah, that sounds about right. What constitutes us playing? Because it's almost every single day I'm at least opening Fake Grand Order. Sometimes... Yeah, to keep the login streak. Oh, uh, yeah, almost every day. At least do something. On on average, how long do you spend per day playing Fake Grand Order? Uh, oh, per day? Again, this is a dumb question because some days it's like 15 to 30 minutes, and then some days I'm hardcore grinding and I'm, it's more than three hours. So let's go for two to three hours if you average it out. What are your favorite chapters from part 1, 1.5, and part 2 of the Fake Grand Order Main Conquest? Singularity F. Where is it? Babylonia. Babylonia. Can I pick more than one? No. It's Babylonia. Because that's the one with what's in it. So therefore, that is my favorite. From part 2 onwards... I have to still finish these. So I can only speak for these. I'm going to go with Atlantis. Uh, yeah, it's really weird. I don't necessarily... Up until part f until Lost Bell 5, the start of this one, I didn't really feel much of anything for Lost Belts 1, 2, 3, and 4, including the prelude. Didn't really... Don't really care all that much about them, to be honest. But 5, the start of 5 with Atlantis, I really like that one. That one's been my favorite so far, and I need to finish um, Olympus just so I can have a better feeling for it. Uh, which in Fate Grand Order's events do you enjoy the most? The Aeon Spring Breeze, which is the light, Kalea Voice Collection, Revival Apocrypha, mm, Revival All Out uh, Unaga, this is all from last year, Revival All In, this where Kenny Omega shows up, Fate Grand Order 5th Anniversary, Summer Servant Camp, I really like Summer, uh, um, this one. Revival can I only pick one? No, I can pick more than one. Okay, so if I can pick more than one, let me, I'm actually going to say which one of these I like more. This one I can't remember, to be honest. Caldea Voice Collection, I also can't remember, but I also like that they give a free CE, so I'll always click on this one. Uh, APOC, I remember the event itself is pretty good. Guda Guda Final Hanoji, I think this is the one I don't like that much. Fate Requiem, I actively made me hate one of the characters in Fate Requiem that I have to actually go look up the official storyboard. I, for some reason, the, the whatever the hell they did to Arise in this one, I had to I have to actually read the source and see if she's as bad in that one as she is in this one. I like the revival. Fifth anniversary is always good. This one I liked. I did like the Ukyo, especially the revival. Land of Shadows, Battlecon Bits, Academy. Oh yeah, this one. Shinsengumi. This one I liked. Of course any rerun should always be clicked. I did like the Great Sea Battle. I like the Santa events. Honestly, I like a lot of the events. <laughs> There's more that I uh, like than I dislike. It too, Brute. Of course, this one's pretty good. This one is also a very fi fancy, fine one. And yeah, I think, and honestly, I probably enjoyed these a decent amount, actually. I just, I can't remember them right now. I'm only, my, my hatred towards the story of Requiem is making me color this in, but I'll leave it like that for now. What parts do you like and look forward to from Fate Grand Order? Plot settings, yes. Content's always good. Characters, do I care about graphics? Not necessarily. Voice line, voice talents, there's some great ones in there, even though I mostly play 
without any voices on. The few voices I do hear are very good, such as Quetz's Ole. Illustrations are pretty good. Enjoy enjoyability of gameplay. Yes, I do look to enjoy my gameplay. I like building teams and such and destroying um, three turning, learning to three turn um, really weird, funky notes to three turns. That's usually where I go. Rewards are for effort put into the game. Sure. Difficult to pick up or put down. I don't know what that means. Popularity. I am not looking to be popular off of Fake Grand Order. Music, background music. Again, I don't play with the music on. Not saying that it's bad, I just like that's not how I play. Battles, strategy elements. Yes. Summoning. <laughs> I don't think I can click that. Craft essences. I guess I'll click on this one because technically this. Yeah. And I do like some craft essence art. Servant enhancement and ascension system. Events, campaigns, additions of new rules of in game events. Yes. Battle system. New peripheral development outside the game. Always like. English version, original content. That's always good. Of course. Of course. You know, can I think of. Hmm. Can't really think of anything for other right now. What would you like to see improved in Fake Grandor? Okay. Uh, this one I can. Enjoyability of gameplay. Uh, so summoning can always be improved. Then here's one. Uh, I have to be careful how I word this. So, if you don't know, because I don't think I ever actually mentioned it, a lot of my work actually has to deal with survey stuff, like filling out surveys and doing this part specifically where actually fi putting da like filing down like, i don't do it specifically for Fago, just as a heads up i do it for other like movie companies and stuff like that um where you take feedback and actually put it in a way so that the company understands it so i'm trying to word it in a way that would be very simple for the person to understand what i want and they can actually convey that hopefully to the right people so let me see i would like the uh Gotcha rates of four star servants increased. It is. Oh, no, no, I don't think I need to put down. I would like the gotcha rates of the four star servants increased. That's it. I can put down more, but honestly, it's going to get lost in a lot of my other stuff, but I think that's good enough to know. Uh, if you put too much stuff down sometimes it can kind of get lost and then a lot of it would just end up being put with something else I tend to feel like um so yeah that's good enough I would like the gotcha rates of the four star servants increased how much information do you know about um uh, how much information do you know about the Japanese version of fake grand order thorough knowledge <laughs> check out my other videos have you ever left fake grand order for over one month no You've never stopped playing more than one month. Please select have never stopped playing for more than one month. Nope. Why did you return? I've never stopped playing. What do you think is good about... Uh, number of times held. Different rules than usual. Number of stages. Volume per stage. Yeah. This is all good to me. What would you like to see improved in Holy... Uh, hmm. I actually don't know. I don't think they can really be improved all that much. I, I guess actually that's not true. I know. The enemy AI. I hate that there's occasionally times where the AI will just like stall. And then you end up like, it was like, well, okay, so you're just not going to play. That sucks. But anyway. What are your favorite works from the Fate series? Uh, I guess, yeah. Fate Grand Order. Okay, click more than one. Yeah. Never played, never played, never played. I uh, did play this once at Anime Expo, so I'm going to put that here. Never played. Anime, oh yeah, the, the Dean, Fate Stay Night, love it. This is my favorite. No, Fate, yeah, I think it's actually Fate Zero, if I look at all this. Let's see, Fate Stay Night. The Dean version is very bad, but I like it, even though it's bad. Unlimited Blade Works, I don't like. Fate Zero, it's my favorite at, at this moment. Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, haven't seen. Wait. 
This is the movies, right? No, this is the movie. Heaven's Feel. I haven't seen Heaven's Feel, so can't comp. I assume this is the movie versions of Unlimited Blade Works, in which case I have not seen that version of it. I saw the anime of it, but not the actual movie. Apocrypha, it actively made me angry watching by the end of it. First Order was pretty alright. Um, I remember watching that back in the day. Haven't seen this. Haven't finished this. Never saw this. Never saw this. Never saw this. Never saw this. Haven't seen Case Files. I wish I kind of actually watched Case Files because I like Waver. I haven't actually seen this one. I haven't seen any of this. And I actually really do like Fake Grand Carnival. Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. How come Fake Grand Carnival's on here but not Carnival Phantasm? I would pick Carnival Phantasm if I could. Yeah, I think I'll go with Fate. You know what? Just to give it a bone, I'm going to go with the Dean version of Fate's Day Night. Oh, can I pick one from the comic? Oh, let me just see. Fate's Day Night, the comic. Fate Zero, the comic. Fate Grand Order. Fate Grand Order, Epic of Remnants. Learning with Manga. Oh, can I just pick this? Okay, then it's Learning with Manga. Uh, board Games, Fate Out of Gordon Order Duel. Wait, how come the PSP game isn't on here? I just realized that. I was looking for Fate Extra and it's not on here. Man. Oh, okay. I get to select up to three. Okay, now I see. So I can just click these three then. Sorry, VR Mesh. I'm gonna go with those three though. Uh, oh, I can click other though. Mm, I'll go with these three. Which Fate Grand Order release content besides the game itself is your favorite? Uh, can I click more than one? No, I can't. Uh, I really like learning with manga, but to be honest, ours is way so far back that I don't think it really counts. I'm gonna go with the web mini games. I actually really do enjoy playing those. What do you look for information for Fake Grand Order? Uh, typically, the Twitter accounts. Sometimes Reddit. All that apply. I don't go to 4chan. Nice try, cop. You can't get me to admit that. Other websites occasionally. Sometimes this one. I guess I'll go with that. Do you freak do you frequently play any mobile games other than Fake Grand Order? Yes. Among Us! Ark Knights, no. Zero Lane, Bingo Blitz, Bingo Games! <laughs> I kinda wanna look this up now. Wait a minute, no way there's a game just called Bingo Blitz. Hold up. Bingo Blitz. Holy shit. It's not what I thought it was gonna be. This isn't actually bingo. Um, I refuse to click bingo blitz now. Blue Archive I did play for a bit. Call of Duty Mobile? No. Candy Crush Saga? No. Candy Crush Franchise? No. Clash of Clans? No. Clash Franchise? I, I did play one of those, didn't I? Which, what, what, let me look up. Because now they got me confused. Cla is it Clash Royale? Is, is that not on here? Clash... Okay, Clash Royale. I definitely played Clash Royale for a bit. I had to stop because it was making me angry. I'm gonna click on Clash Franchise. Coin Master, I never played. Cookie Run Kingdom, I've never played. Diablo Immortals, um, never played. Dragon Ball Legends, does this say frequently play? Okay, I can't put. I did in the past. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, I'll click on that one. Shout outs to the shitty 8th anniversary that we just had. Eighth Epic Seven. Some people disagree. They're wrong. Ep Epic Seven. <laughs> no. Final Fantasy Brave Exodus in the past. Fish them. I need to look up fish them. One moment. What is fish them? Questions. Now I'm being exposed to what is what Fago considers competition. It's not the game you think. It's fish them. Okay. I'm looking at gameplay for fish them. It looks like you're a fish, and then you eat bigger fish. Mini games. You're clicking on a chest, so is it a gotcha fish? You're kind of like Nemo. Maybe it's an aquarium. Maybe it's an aquarium style game. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to be real with you. I think there's multiple games inside of Fishdom. This is going to require multiple lookups. I'm going to look up Fishdom later. Gardenscapers, Gardenscapes I didn't play, Garena Free Fire, never played, Genshin Impact, I'm gonna click on this one just because I did play a lot of Genshin, but I freed myself recently. Girls Frontier, Grand Blue Fantasy, oh. 
Grand Summoner, never played Hearthstone. I occasionally come back to every three years or so, so I'm gonna click on <laughs> Hearthstone. Honkai Impact 3rd, League of Legends Wild Rift. I, I'm gonna click on this one. Legends of Runeterra. Mm, I haven't actually tried very many Legends of Runeterra. Even though I've played a lot of other card games, I haven't actually played uh, Maybe I should actually look into it a little bit more. King's Raid, never played. Mario Kart Tour, hell yeah. The Diddy Kong Pack, $20. That's value, baby. Marvel Strike Force. Where the fuck is Marvel Snap? This is bullshit. Obey me, one master to rule them all. Alright, once again, I'm going into the Google Play. What is it? Is it a bunch of dudes? Okay, I need to see Obey Me. Because I'm being told that this is a dude gotcha. This guy looks a lot like Emya as I'm looking at Obey Me. Demon SNS. You can have them on Twitter? Is this like a, a mobile dance game? Nothing beats 2D. Greedy for all the money in the world! <laughs> the scummy secondborn mammon. Oh my god, you can get like Lucifer! Lucifer, mammon, the Leviathan, Satan, Beelzebub, Belphagot, Solomon. This is gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to look this up later. Obey me. Looks pretty sick though. Pikmin Bloom, no. Pokemon Go, no. Ma Pokemon Masters EX, no. I've tried, but they don't have Wooper. PUBG Mobile, I've played actual PUBG. Raid Shadow Legends, uh, not until they start sponsoring my videos, and then I'll play some Raid Shadow Legends. Team Fight Tactics, TFT, no. Tears of Themis, no. Roblox, no. But I debated when that Black Adam thing came out. I really wanted to see what was up with the Black Adam Roblox. Disney's Twisted Wonderland, no. World Thumper, not for a very long time, no. Other Fago servers, Japan, China, Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Makoi. If I. No, no, I do not. Do not play any other mobile games. Other. Marvel? Snap. That's a mobile game. Let me see, any other ones that I have on here? Does Master Duel count? Okay, I'm gonna put it down. Putting down Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. Master Duel. Maybe this will convince them to actually make a card game version of Fago. Uh, do you frequently use any of the following non game apps? Amazon Music, Amazon Prime Video. I guess technically speaking, yes, this one. Discord, yeah. Disney Plus, yes. HBO Max, yeah. Hulu, not in a while. Netflix, yes. Pandora Music, no. Pinterest, no. Snapchat, no. Spotify, no. Tango, no. WhatsApp. I guess I technically do because of Jim Pudi. Oh yeah, I forgot about Jim Pudi. All right. Jim Pudi heroes. Always a good sign when I have to say, oh wait, I forgot about one of the games I play. YouTube. <laughs> And that's pretty good, not games that they don't need to know anymore. What social media service do you frequently use? It's Twitter. They really it's really weird seeing 4chan on here. What social media services do you use for communicating with other players of Fago? Other I don't talk to other Fago I guess this technically, my channel. My Wokey's personal channel where I occasionally talk to other people about Fago is about where I stop and then I guess I occasionally say stuff on Twitter, so I'm go with Twitter as well. What entertainment devices do you own? We own a PS4, we own a PS5, don't own a VR, we do own a Nintendo Switch. Someone here owns a Nintendo DS. Uh, someone here. I own an Xbox One. I don't own a Kindle. I do own a Steam Deck, and I do have a PC, and I guess other. They don't want to know the other, but they'll put down other. Is that a PlayStation VR boy? The Quest? I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna click PlayStation VR. Then it's under there. What information or other content would you like to see from the Caldea Broadcast Station US branch? I would like. I would like them to apologize and release Samba Quets. Say. It actually wasn't what wasn't because of Kiniku Man. That is fake news. Alright, there we go. 
Uh, can I click on other stuff? <laughs> yeah, I can, okay. So new information about adventure. Fate series information. Sure, discussing about... Oh, I thought this was a discussions about Among Us. Localizations? Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Actually, all of these. Why wouldn't I want any of these? This is all good stuff. But yeah, please. Apologize and release Samba quits. <laughs> There's no reason to hold her. What campaigns or events or uh, what campaigns or events in Unique to Fago English did you enjoy? The admin calendar's cool. Bunyan, oh uh, yeah, pinball slots were good. The shooter was fun. Actually, all this stuff is good. I don't know who's out here saying like, no, I didn't like any of this. Uh, there we go. Uh, what information would you like to see to know or see in Fake Android Developer Diaries? Uh, I guess, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's go about information about campaigns. Or what information would you like to see to know or see in Caldea Break Room? Interviews with developer team members. Sure, any of this stuff would be good with me. Except for tips. I don't need tips on my servants. I already know everything. Have you ever attended a convention? If so, which ones? I've been to Anime Expo. I have not been to Anime Boston, Anime Central, Anime Frontier, Anime, Anime New York City, Anime Weekend Atlanta, Crunchyroll Expo, E3, Foundation Con, Momocon, Okotakutan, PAX, Any. How come PAX got an Any, but all the get? Never mind. Uh, San Diego Comic Con, never been to any of the other ones, but I have been to Anime Expo. Have you ever attended a virtual convention? If so, which? Oh, I wanted to go to that one that was the the one for the 5th anniversary, but I didn't make it in time. The one that you could play in VR. I think it's... Yeah, my brother was there. I don't know which one of these it would be considered, though. I, I have never been to one, so I'm just going to click on that one. And unfortunately, I can't get there because it's too low. Actually, I can. Let me hold up. Let me increase the window capture. There we go. Let me increase it up here. Please enter any other comments or concerns regarding Fago. My cats are fighting. Please do more event reruns. There aren't enough. Also, please release Samba Quets again. Please. There we go. Double please. And that's just basically it. That's going to be it. I have to fill out the, all the beginning personal info stuff. But uh, yeah, that's it for the survey. And then you get four tickets after you sign it in. And then you're done though. And then yay. Hopefully they take your information. And take it to the people who know Japanese. And everything works out well then. So yeah. That's the end of the video everyone. This video ended up being much longer than I thought. It's 27 minutes. Damn, this is a long ass survey. But thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye!